Hello everyone and welcome to our video series on Learn German for Beginners. In this lesson, you will be learning a new form of verbs that is separable verbs or trennbare verben. Lektion 37 Trennbare Verben The verb trennen means to separate and we make an adjective out of it which is known as trennbar. So all the verbs which can be separated are known as trennbare Verben. Let's try to understand what they are. Let's first go through our learning objectives. We'll be learning what are trennbare Verben followed by their position in a sentence. Then we'll be doing the conjugation and we'll be learning the most important trennbare Verben. So let's look at two verbs. Aufstehen and losgehen. The first verb is made of two elements, auf and stehen, whereas the second verb is made up of los and gehen. In such verbs, auf and los are the prefix of the verb, whereas stehen and gehen are the normal verbs. Adding a prefix to a normal verb, the standard verb, changes the meaning of the verb. For example, stehen means to stand, whereas aufstehen means to get up. Gehen means to go, whereas losgehen means to set off. Such verbs are known as trennbare Verben. Now let's see how to use them in a sentence. Ich stehe um 6 Uhr auf. Peter geht um 9 Uhr los. Now let's analyze these two sentences. The verbs stehen and gehen are conjugated and are placed at the second position. That means Der Verbstamm ist mit Endung. Whereas the prefixes auf and los are at the end of the sentence. So the verbs aufstehen and losgehen are trennbare Verben because the verb and the prefix can be separated. They are trennbar. Whenever we use them in the sentence, the verb is conjugated and placed at the second position, whereas the prefix is placed at the end. Now let's look at another type of sentence, the Wehfrage. What happens to the verb in this case? Wann stehst du auf? In this case also, the conjugated verb is at the second position, whereas the prefix is at the end. What happens in the case of a ja nein frage Stehst du um 6 Uhr auf? In this case, the conjugated verb is at the first position, whereas the prefix is at the end of the sentence. What happens when we use a modal verb in the sentence? Wann willst du aufstehen? In this case, the conjugated modal verb will be in the second position, whereas the trennbares verb aufstehen will stand at the end and this verb will not be conjugated. That means it remains in infinitive. If you want to revise modal verben, 
you can watch our video on modal verben. Now let's see how to conjugate such verbs. Aufstehen You should remember that in trennbare verben the prefix is at the end and the verb is just conjugated normally. In this case, stehen is a regular verb, so we will conjugate it like a regular verb. Ich stehe auf, du stehst auf, sie stehen auf, er, sie, es steht auf, wir stehen auf, ihr steht auf, sie stehen auf, Sie stehen auf. If you want to revise verb conjugation, you can go through our lesson 14 and 15. Now let's learn some trennbare verben we use in our daily life. The first verb is mitkommen. In this case, the prefix is mit. Let's see how to use it. Wir gehen zur Schule. Kommst du mit? The next verb is abholen, where the prefix is ab. Kannst du mich um 18 Uhr abholen? If you notice, since we are using a modal verb here, the trennbares verb comes in infinitive at the end. The next verb is abfahren and the prefix here is ab. Der Zug fährt um 7 Uhr ab. Moving on to the next verb, ankommen. Here the prefix is an. Der Bus kommt um 7 Uhr an. The next verb is anfangen. Here also the prefix is an. Der Unterricht fängt um 13 Uhr an. In this case, the verb fangen is an irregular verb. The next verb is einkaufen. Here the prefix is ein. Am Wochenende kaufen wir in der Stadt ein. Do remember that the verb has to be conjugated according to the subject in the sentence. In this case, wir. The next verb is Fernsehen. Here, the prefix is Fern. Peter und Maria sehen am Abend immer Fern. The next verb is anrufen. Here the prefix is an. Kannst du mich heute Abend anrufen? Here again, since the sentence is with a modal verb, the trennbares verb will be at the end of the sentence and not conjugated. The next verb is einladen. Here the prefix is ein. Lädst du mich zu deiner Hochzeit ein? In this case, laden is an irregular verb. And the last one, zumachen. Here the prefix is zu. Mir ist kalt. Kannst du bitte das Fenster zumachen? Here again, since we are using a modal verb, the trennbares verb will be in infinitive at the end of the sentence. Now these were the most important trennbare verben in daily use. We'll be doing some more in the following lessons. Now let's do a very small exercise to see what you have understood. Übung Bilden Sie Sätze And here's the first one. You have to make a sentence with these words. Do remember 
that the prefix will be at the end and your answer should be Siehst du gern fern? Another alternative is Du siehst gern fern. Let's take up another sentence. Bring these words together to form a sentence. And your answer should be Wann rufst du mich an? Well done! Hope you enjoyed this lesson. Danke! Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comment section below. Tschüss! Auf Wiedersehen!